What is going on? Dixon back again. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Nectar Elements product by Isotope. It's a really good product. In this video I'm going to be going over what it does, what it can do. I'm going to be doing it in a project of mine. Um, I hope you enjoy If you do like the tool at the end, the link is in the description below. This is the first of its kind on my channel, like a review type thing, but I'm going to be doing lots of reviews. So if you want any of your products reviewing, please contact me and I will be up for doing something along those lines. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps your productions. Let's get into the video. Okay, so once you've got it installed, you go into program, whatever program that might be, you open a project file with a vocal in it. You go to Nectar Elements, you open that on the same track as your vocal, like so. Then you will be presented with some options. You can pick the vibes or intensity. What are you going for? Vintage, modern or dialogue. The intensity can be light, moderate or aggressive. Once you have chosen, you just click go, but you must have some vocals playing in the background because what Nectar does is they detect the vocal that is playing and they detect what needs changing on the vocal to get this preset, whatever preset it might be. It might be a vintage, modern or dialogue. They detect it and then they change it. Just for the example, I'm gonna go for vintage and I'm going to go for aggressive. I'm gonna click aggressive so you guys can hear the difference between the two. So I will solo my vocal. I will click play and then I'll click go. One way or another, everything must fall or rise. I've been down so long, but now it's time to take my place up in the skies. One way or another, everything must fall or rise. I've been down so long, but now it's time to take my place up in the skies. Okay, without even doing the bypass on before and after, I can already hear that the vintage is more compressed, it's more compact, it's more, it's neater. Um, beforehand it's just raw and, you know, in your face, all over the place. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll do a before and after now, I'll do with the effect and without the effect with the rest of the track. So this is without the effect. So as you can hear, it's more compact. Um, beforehand, the vocal used to just sit on top of the beat. Um, and now with the vintage, it sits more within the beat. It, it's nicely within the instruments. It's more professionally sounding. It's within the instruments rather than sitting on top, if that makes sense at all. So within this little setup, we have the cleanup and we have the polish. In the polished area, we have tone and space. 
and in the cleanup area we have pitch, clarity, DS and dynamics. For space, space is basically the width of the sound, how big it sounds in the room. It's basically reverb and I will give you an example now. One way or another, everything must fall around. That's without. I've been down so long, but now it's time to take my place up in the skies. Well, so yeah, you can hear it gives you a nice little polished reverb, which is quite cool. If you're not happy with how reverb it is or how reverb it isn't, just toggle up and down to get the sweet spot. You have tone. Everything must fall or rise. I've been down so long. Dynamics. One way or another. Everything must fall or rise. DS. Uh, if you're not sure what DS is, DS is basically the sound uh, when a vocalist performs their vocals. You can have the best vocals in the world, the best lyrics anyone's ever heard in their life, but if you had that. S it ruins the whole track, it ruins the whole mix down and this just basically can controls that as the little graphic explains there with the S's coming out of someone's mouth One way or another Everything must fall or rise I've been down so long but now it's time to take my place up in the skies Clarity One way or another Everything must fall or rise. I've been and then we have pitch. Pitch is basically it's like an auto correct, it'll auto correct the pitch. Uh, if you have it full blooded like that, it, you get some kind of um, auto pitch correct, auto tune type effect. T Pain would love this. So here that is. One way or another, everything must fall or rise. I've been down so long, but now it's time to take my place up in the skies. One way or another. So yeah, if that's the if that's the effect you're going for, then bang on. Um, we'll click start over, and I'll give you another example. So this time we go for modern, we go for aggressive again, so you guys can hear the difference. We will play the vocal in the background like before. But this time, when I click go, keep an eye on the screen. It's quite cool. It tells you exactly what it's doing, and whilst it's doing it, you can hear the vocal changing as well, which is quite cool. One way or another, everything must fall alright. I've been down so long, but now it's time to take my place up in the skies. One way or another, everything must fall or rise. I've been down so long. So yeah, without doing the before and after, you can already hear that it's louder, it's more in your face. It's it's louder and in your face, but it's polished as well, so you know it's not peaking, it's not it's not hurting your ears. It sounds like a professional mix down. So I'll do the before and after. This is the before. One way or another, everything must fall right. Yeah, it's just relatively dry. Not much going on. Here is after. One way or another, everything must fall. So yeah, um, none of the presets are really perfect, so that's what these toggles are all here for, up and down, however you like it. Only you really know what you want your sound to sound like. So yeah, if you can toggle through these settings to get the sweet spot and then you'll be well on your way. The good thing about this tool is that it has all, it has all these settings in one place like pitch, DS dynamics, you you'd be using like four or five different tools or plugins to get the same effect. 
what they've done that's nice here to put it all in the same spot they've simplified it all so people that don't really know about music production will mix in down they can just click a few buttons the assistant will do the job for you and you'll get a nice sounding professional sounding vocal which is quite cool really I'll be using this from now on just get your vocal up the assistant will do all the rest of the work and Bob's your uncle or your auntie depending on what kind of family you live in so yeah I'll recommend this Nectar Elements um, if you do want it it'll be in the description below um, Big Up Isotope they always do really really nice tools to help us with our productions and things like that so yeah Big Up them every time I have lots of that stuff um, so also why are we why we are here this sound here yeah it's like an organ pad type thing it's a serum preset it is on my last video I've been I gave it away for free so if you are interested in that sound it's in my last video I have been Dixon this channel has been Dixon Beats go get it now I'll see you on the other side